Yo, it's your boy Chakram, and today this video is going to be about how you guys can fix the 0xC0F1103F error code on GeForce Now. So, someone recently asked me on how they can fix this, and this is essentially just a fix to this. So, there's many methods to this, and you guys are going to have to try every single method, because uh, some of them might not work, and some of them might work. So, yeah, uh, before this starts, I just, I just do want to say that this is mainly for integrated graphics. There will be a specific video for dedicated graphics and other and other fixes if it's not working on integrated graphics so uh yeah let's get into it so the first thing you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna try to update your system so uh you guys are gonna click uh the search bar and you guys are gonna search up update and you guys are gonna click on the check for updates and uh yeah it's gonna open up settings and you guys are gonna click check for updates and so yeah, it'll just check for updates. Also, I want to say that if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's going to be summer now, and I'm going to be uploading a lot more now. Because I'm going to have a lot more time. And uh, yeah, so I'm all up to date. And I do recommend everybody to get the version 2004. Just to make sure that um, you guys properly update to the latest version. Because it might be a bug with the software on so that's the thing uh you guys have to try it and see how it goes um once you guys do update though you guys are going to go to geforce now and try it again so if this doesn't work then you guys have to update the geforce now app so what i mean with that is you guys are just going to uninstall and reinstall to the latest firmware so what you guys are going to do is you guys going to click win r you guys going to go to appwiz.cpl Sorry, I haven't entered, but I'll just enter it again. App whiz dot CPL. Make sure you guys hit that dot. Click OK. And uh, it should open up the control panel, the uninstall or change, pro or change of program. You guys are going to scroll down until you find GeForce now. So you guys are going to um, scroll down all the way. You guys are going to click on the GeForce now and click on uninstall slash change. And you guys will see this pop up come up right now. Click uninstall, click close, and exit this. So you, I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description. Uh, sorry, you guys are gonna click. You guys are gonna click on this um link right now, and you guys are gonna click on the specific one for you guys. So if you guys are on Mac, then click the Mac one. If you guys are on Windows, then click the Windows one. So I'm gonna click the Windows one. And uh, yeah, I'll be back when it's done. And all right, guys, so it's done. And you guys can either click on this or you guys can go to File Explorer, Downloads, Downloads. And you guys are going to click on the GeForce Now dash release one exe. So I already have a one downloaded, so I'm just going to click on this. And do note that this does take quite a while. I did notice that. So yeah, it's going to take quite a while, but it's not too long. It's probably like one minute at max, depending on how fast or slow your computer is. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'll cut back. Okay, guys, so now that it's done, you guys are just going to click on it or double click on it. And uh, yeah, you guys are just gonna wait for it to open up. Sorry guys, my computer is really slow. And the reason we do this is because there are mo sometimes there might be a corruption in the files, which is leading the game to think that you do not meet the specific requirements. And uh, once you uninstall, you're deleting every single file. So that includes a corrupted file. And then you can reinstall with new fresh files. And uh, yeah, like it's it, you even get logged out. You're gonna have to log back in. So yeah, this is the second method. Let's get on to the third method. So the third method is to try and update your drivers. So what you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna click on the Windows icon. Well, right click on the Windows icon, start, and you guys are gonna uh, click on Device Manager. And uh, you guys are just gonna wait for it to be done, and then you guys are gonna go under Display Adapters, click on the and uh, click on your graphics. And you guys are going to click this tiny little icon over here, update device driver. And you guys are going to click this. So I've already updated, so I don't need to do it. But you guys are just going to, if you guys do have to do it, you can just follow all the prompts to install the new drivers. 
If not, it will tell you that you have the best driver installed. So this is the, the third way you guys can do it. Uh, so let's get on to the fourth one. So the fourth way you guys can do it is you guys need to check if you guys can run it. So what you guys going to do is I'm going to leave a link for this in the description as well. And you guys are going to find the uh, system requirements for the cloud gaming service. So for Mac OS, you, might, you have to be on 10.10 .10 or better. You need at least 15 Mbps for 720 at 60 FPS and 25 for 1080p at 60 FPS. And they recommend to use a hardwired Ethernet connection or 5G wireless router. So, and uh, th those two are the ones that you need to check. So, I would always recommend to check the uh, OS and the internet requirements. And then you guys are going to scroll down to the bottom and uh, Mac, you guys are going to find Mac hardware requirements. So, um, everything that's 2008 and newer should work for every single Mac. And if you guys are on Windows, you guys are going to scroll down and click Windows PC. And you need a 64-bit version of Windows 7 or newer is required. And it says, please know that we do not support 32-bit uh, version of Windows. So 32-bit Windows 7 will not work. So if you guys are running 32-bit Windows 7, GeForce Now will not work. And you guys can check the internet requirements as well, but they're exactly the same. 15 Mbps for 70p and at 60 FPS and 25 for 1080p at 60 FPS. And then you guys are going to scroll down to the PC hardware. So you guys need a dual core x86 or 64 CPU with 2 gigahertz or faster. So if you guys don't have 2 gigahertz uh, uh, base, co uh, base clock and... Um, uh, dual C dual core then that's probably got that's probably why you guys can't run it and you guys need at least 4 GB of system memory GPU that supports direct x11 so that means g4 uh, Nvidia g4 600 series or newer and AMD, AMD Radeon HD 3000 series or newer and an Intel graphics 2000 series or newer so most um, modern CPUs do uh, uh, use Intel graphics that are newer than 2000 so you guys don't need to worry about that all you guys need to worry about is a dual core so if you guys don't have a dual core with the base clock at 2.0 gigahertz or faster then that's probably the reason why you guys can't run it and I recommend getting a better computer because if you guys don't have a dual core with 2 gigahertz or faster that means your computer is probably running pretty slow already and you guys should definitely uh, invest in a better computer so then you guys can game like even without it and with it so well yeah this is the video guys if you guys did like if, if you guys did enjoy this video then please leave a like subscribe hit that notification bell i'm gonna be making a part to the two to this if you guys or if this didn't work for you guys or you guys have dedicated uh graphics cards so uh yeah anyways it's your boy tech ram i'll see you guys in a bit peace